is up dudes and dudettes this is due diligence here today uh in the mint market analysis we're gonna talk about nah, we're gonna rant a little bit about crude oil as you can see um let me get my pans out well as you can see my prediction is right from last week am i look at this it it literally like it literally so so if you look at crude oil right you will see that the price actually stabilizes at 73.10 and in terms of like all the buying volumes you see all of the buying volumes it's the chinese app so it's red that means people are buying in right so if you look at this it stabilizes and guess what it's gonna dip a little bit by the market closes and if it stabilizes at 73 and 10 that means we already closed the gap from 72.60 to 73.28 over the weekend which means the market is actually reacting to increasing demand in oil in crude oil, right? Which means, hey, a hundred percent of my prediction from last week came true, okay? So if we if we see a seventy three dollars, that means seventy five is in the line and seventy eight is in the line, and when it reaches seventy eight, most likely it's gonna reach eighty. But we have a very very small time frame because you got to understand that OPEC is going to re readjust um, production around August, right? So we have we have mid June, we have mid June on our side, and we have early July and around mid July on our side. So we have a, a, around um, a month time frame, and and guys, you have to understand that the the Fed is probably priming up for a reserve rate increase okay when you have a reserve rate increase increase sorry about my english and my spelling let's just say increase by 2.1 percent right 2.1 percent or 1.8 percent or somewhere around like two percent ish because in terms of global monetary policy china increased to two percent okay which means that sort of have a similar effect to inc interest rate increase okay and if, if you look at the, the the global um pandemic status and everything inflation through the roof inflation sort of bang through the roof right how to slow it down you either increase interest rate no that's a bad idea why a lot of people are hanging on their threads if we increase interest rate right now um a lot of people are effed bro so what is a what is a you know a gent a more gentle way of doing that thing right probably you know increase the reserve rate when you increase the reserve rate that means banks requires more reserve to issue loans which means interest rate well indirectly increased so then you know if we look at the money supply supply of money literally decrease right so it's a tightening up of monetary policy and by 2026 we're expecting to see a interest rate hike of course dude we have what five years on our hands but you don't know because fed usually do like a lot of these sneaky things right for example uh a lot of us are millennials and a lot of you i don't know if you you guys are uh you know how old are you guys because you know we only have what around 20 subscribers and by the time we have a thousand subscribers maybe we can take a poll it's like hey how old are you guys right so if, if you guys are are born before you know 1990s we have the dot-com boom and you know it extended all the way to the y2k right and right after y2k the fed announced that they're going to increase interest rate which is a blow in the head literally so I think what I expect them to do is they're probably going to do it after Christmas, either after Christmas or, or after a major celebration, because during major celebration, the market would probably rally. Right. And when market rally, we were, we were looking at, at a flat six percent if you buy the right stock. And after that six percent, if they decided to increase interest rates, say by 0.5 percent, then half of this is gone. So, yeah, guys, it's going to be interesting. Okay, let me tell you guys what is pissing me off right now. Okay, my prediction is right. Therefore, I bought this stock. Right? This is a downstream oil, you know, stock. What they do is they, Halliburton, what they do is they 
they sort of you know um, provided the equipment for mine for mining these oil and provided you know the the services of pr production but they don't really own on uh, the production of oil so say if i you know, increase production about a million barrels per day and then you know those barrels are owned by like companies like cop which i also owns a little bit of but the reason why i bought this one is because i saw a very interesting thing over here so if you look just look at the daily chart it doesn't look like anything right but but here's the interesting part and this is what's pissing me off right now uh so we add a line here. There, it's literally a positive, a 0.7, like 0.6 something positive correlation with crude oil. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If crude oil goes up, if crude oil goes up, it goes up and goes up and goes up, right? At this point, crude oil is about like, uh, that's in March, dude. Crude, crude oil actually, like, it's the price is so low, dude. And then now we literally almost double the price, dude. Maybe not double, like add it like around, it yeah, probably like not really double, like uh, over 28%, maybe 30%. But look at this. I know it's going to be an all time high over 25 bucks. So what I do, a rational investor, I bought some calls, right boys? Yeah, the Bobby Axelrod move, dude. We bought some calls and we we look for a, a short, short term, you know, all time high and we wait for volatility to spike and do all the things. But guess what? It drops down again, right? So now what we are facing is a contraction period of time or a reverse flag and then wait until it reaches like maybe 2390, uh, 2393 and, or 83 around their line and it's going to go up. Guys, like some, okay, my price prediction are most likely correct, right? But the problem is like all these people are trying to control inflation are, are giving me a cap. So then, the fluctuation is, isn't as rapid as I want it to be. So then my timing on the call options isn't that correct. Which I lose money on that part. It's a bad thing, right? But still, guys. that This is pissing me off right now. But, but, if my prediction is correct, that means we're looking for a short-term um, all-time high. More like one-year high over this line. And guess what? I will be happy and dudes will be happy. Whoever watched my video is going to be happy. And as you can see, similar stocks like um, SLB is also going through a contraction. Because every stock cannot go up all the time. Even though with the correlation efficiency, like if you look at the correlation, right? Look at this. The correlation is so, 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 so positive. Like when oil goes up, it goes up. When oil goes down, it goes down. It's just one dollar in oil maybe only result of it's i think it have a a leverage effect on the stock it's so one dollar in increasing oil probably increasing two dollars but in here i don't know why it's contracting i think it's because um slb and hal are buying into electricity companies like they're buying into lithium production companies that's why i think it's contraction uh contracting a little bit but I th I think my prediction is right. I think I think this is gonna have an all time high, uh, for the most part. But I'm not worried. Uh, most of my um, most of my average price are are significantly lower than w what the market price is. But I plan to add more position. That's why I'm pissed because I added a little bit position on Friday, added a little bit position on Thursday. So let's see. I think. I think this is going to be one of those degenerative investment style where I have to hold for a little bit because I, I hate holding. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know, I like flipping stuff within a three day period of time. And this one I've been holding for a week now. I mean, overall, you made like 2%, maybe at one point made it like 20%, 5%, 15%. Um, but you know, as, as someone who, who, who traded natural gas ETF and made like 20% in three days, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty sad. Okay. It's, it's a very slow horizon. And again, at the end of the video, I have to tell you guys, boys, please, please, please remind yourself 
anyone on our channel, anyone on our channel is not, everyone on our channel are not financial advisors. We do not give financial advices, okay? Everything we talk about on this channel is for shits and giggles and for, you know, for entertainment purposes only. And remember guys, please, please, please smash that like button and please subscribe. There's going to be way more better contents later on. On in this channel and we're in this for a long run guys if you guys are with us if you guys are from the beginning there's gonna be perks later okay all right guys see you on the other side and, and wait there's gonna be more videos today okay um i promised you guys for the clove video it's coming out i spent 12 hours over the weekend trying to figure out their balance sheet problems and figuring out why a lot of hedge funds are shorting um and you will see there's gonna be a longer video later on um, but right now, I'm going to focus on this oil video, push it out, and I'm going to push another um, EV workhorse or RIDE video out real quick. Because um, for those of you who actually, you know, tune in my, my channel every every single day, you probably can make some mid-market, you know, profit by that. But again, we're not financial advisors. We do not give financial advices. All right, guys. See you on the upside.